Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be doing part 7 of season 3 for Young Sheldon. Gotta say we have two more ep two more videos left, not episodes, four more episodes left in the season and I can't wait to see how this ends. Like, I don't know if you can top how season 2 ended. I really don't. But, um, one thing I did want to bring to attention because I know a lot of you are going to say it in the comment section. I did hear that Young Sheldon is going to be ending at Season 7. Um, while that is sad because I do really enjoy this show, I'm kind of glad in a way that we're not going to get a show that's as long as Big Bang Theory was because it gives us more room for new things to do on the channel and new shows, new movies, all sorts of stuff that we can actually check out and everything like that that we have coming up. Um... Haven't really put together a, a show that's going to replace Young Sheldon yet, but that's because we don't really need to yet. We got time. <laughs> we really do. We have time. So, hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check the link in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch a TV show together. Let's go ahead and continue Young Sheldon. I see you, Dr. Sturgis. Yes, that is unforgivable behavior. Okay, bye. Did he apologize? No, he is very upset with you. Well, I'm upset with him. Then you don't understand. Well, for now, it sounds like you two could use a little quiet time. Fine. I'll switch over to Dr. Linkletter's class. He's a foot taller than Sturgis and can reach more of the chalkboard. Wow. What I meant was, maybe it's time to take a break from your college classes. I would throw a tantrum right now, but that would just prove your point. Exactly. Go to your room. Where are you going? Or go outside. To play with my trains. Which may sound immature, but it's a hobby many old men enjoy. Okay. I'm the only cheerleader you should be looking at. Oh. Ah, oh. I was trying to find you. Just wanted to wish you a good game. Thank you. I'm going to be cheering for you. Great. Unless I catch you looking at someone else. Then you will regret it. <laughs> yeah, this girl be seems a little bit of the jealous type to me. Well, uh, it's Friday, and I promised my therapist I'd try one new thing a week. And there you, you go, that's good, though. Good for you. I don't suppose Sheldon's here. No, nah, he doesn't <laughs> much care for outdoor sports. Poor sports. Then she'll enjoy herself more. Outdoor? Watching life go by from the sidelines is kind of my thing. Hey, heads up! Ooh. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Oh, I my God. So. Call an ambulance. Yes. Moon Pie, I know you don't like to hear this, but there are some things in life that can only be learned in time. So you must have learned them all, huh? Get out uh. of my house. <laughs> Sheldon's just going I'm through saying. everybody. Hey, this would be quite a story to tell your grandkids, huh? And then my mother said I wasn't mature enough for college. Oh, can wow. you believe that? Tam is back. Absolutely. So you're on their side too? I'm Vietnamese. In my culture, until your parents die, you're basically a baby. Really? My grandmother still treats my dad like a child. Oh my god. At dinner, he can't sit until she sits. Bring her here and we'll look after her until she's back on her feet. You sure? Of course. We'll set her up I don't know how that's gonna work. Thanks, Mayor. See you in a bit. Hey, George. It's real nice of you taking care of her like this. Well, it was kind of my fault. Kinda. It was all your fault. Bye. <laughs> How is it all hey, his fault? Couple of bruised ribs, broken arm. Oh, God. And collarbone. Oh, my That's God. It. Pretty funny how you jumped out of the way and let her get clobbered. I did not jump out of the wood. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you got you on tape. Okay, fine. <laughs> but that was pure instinct. Oh, you poor dear. Come on in. Thanks. I hope I'm not putting you out. Of course not. <sighs> Sheldon. Can you believe my mother said I can't go to college? Are we serious? He's gonna start this? Look at her. Sheldon, she doesn't want to hear about that. It's okay. So when your bones broke, did you hear a crunch? No. Oh my god. Did my dad have to give you mouth to mouth? No. I don't know how my mom kisses him. Messy surprises me of like every episode. Who buys this crap? Me, after three beers. I mean, look at this damn thing. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> it brings the house together. Can I ask you a personal question? You're not in my will. It's about my girlfriend. 
Uh-oh. Why That's is he bad. not? No, wait. Just, I've been seeing that. No, wait. Why, why is he not in her will? Let's talk about that for a minute. He doesn't need to be in her will, but I'm kind of curious why. What, what did Georgie do? Like, is it that she thinks he's going to blow all her money or something? Or sell the house? Like, Georgie's a good kid. Why does everybody treat him like this? I don't I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. You just go ahead and do whatever you want. Play the field. Have some fun. That's interesting. Not That's what true. Said too. Oh, did he? Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> My boyfriend. Uh oh. Yeah. Sounds like you're feeling misunderstood. I am by Dr. Sturgis, my mother, and possibly the entire Vietnamese culture. Oh my god. Do you understand that I'm in a little bit of pain right now? Aw. Wait, I can do better. Aw. <laughs> Nailed it. Get Thank out. <laughs> be careful. You could become addicted and lose your job, which is all you have. Will you yeah, shut huh? up, Sheldon? My God. Oh, that boy. So nice to be around a family like this. I've been alone for... Oh, God. Here we go. So long. Honestly, if it weren't for the cats, I'd have no one. I abandoned Edgar and Alan. Edgar They'll be fine Alan? for a couple of days. Away. Would you please go feed them and tell them I love them? Any chance this could wait till the morning? I guess. Cats can be fine for to? a couple of days by themselves. Cats. You put extra food down and extra litter. You think he's You're seeing fine. somebody else? No. I don't think I should be talking about this. He's my boss. Well, he's my boyfriend, so spill it. It's weird when old people say boyfriend. The only woman I've really seen him with is his ex-wife. Oh, yeah, but he hates her. Don't seem like it. Whoa. What do you mean by that? They seem friendly. How nice. Reba's got to get her mind? ass I'm kicked. I'm trying to watch this. <laughs> God damn. No. Son of a bitch. Here, Edgar or Alan, whichever the hell one you want. I just got it. She named her kids Edgar, Allen, and Poe after Edgar Allan Poe. Insightful. Right here. But you lie all the time. I learned a lot from you. <laughs> See what special bond we have. Now answer that damn question. Oh boy. We're gonna be here all night. Why were you gone for so long? I don't know. Oh. Talk about it. oh. He got Freddy Kruegered. Whoa. Oh my god, what's, what's happening? It's a ghost detector that came in my cereal box. It's just a piece of paper. Then why did it move in my hand? From perspiration. Or ghosts. Morning. <laughs> Sheldon's like, I'm not equipped to deal with Is this. Is she still alive? It's okay. She enjoys my company. Also, she understands what I'm going through with Dr. Sturgis. Excuse me. I am just trying to help you grow up to be a functional adult. Me? This one's looking for serial ghosts. Look before <laughs> I found them. I don't care. You are not ready for college. <laughs> Being a mom's hard, isn't it? Sometimes. If you ever want to talk about it, I'm here for you. Oh, it's moving again. You're so lucky. Uh, You're gonna okay. have to walk me through that. <laughs> you don't have anyone in your house telling you what you can or can't do. Either Edgar or Alan. <laughs> oh, that was Edgar. He can be a rascal. Yeah, that's a word for it. Good morning. Good morning. She's like, good? Yeah. You know she's gonna ask you. Pancakes? Sure. Thanks, George, but I think I can manage. Oh, no. My pleasure. He feels so guilty, he'll do anything you ask him. That's enough from you. He bought me an Easy Bake Oven when he closed the car door on my thumb. Unlike okay. my mother who feels no guilt after hurting her children. How wow, so Sheldon. I've been trying to keep you safe until such a time as you can make adult decisions. So you talked to June lately? Long time. Uh, not in a couple of days, why? I don't know reason. I'm just kind of thinking about calling her myself. I mean, if you're okay with that. You want to call my ex-wife? Go ahead, call her. You sleeping with her? Lord, no. But she's my ex-wife. Come on. Oh, my gosh. What kind of sicko sleeps with her ex-wife? Where is this coming from? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Are you jealous? No. You know what I'm asking, jackass. 
All right, all right, all right. You listen to me now. I'm 72 years old. You think I have enough stamina to go playing around with other women? You saying the only reason you're seeing me is you're too old and tired to see anybody else? <laughs> that sounds like a plot. Why do I keep getting the feeling you're not into this? Oh, I'm into this. But? I mean, we're real young, and who knows what's going to happen? I know, and you should too. So what are we? I don't know. What do you want to call it? How about I relationship? Guess, uh, committed relationship? Oh, works for me. I feel like it's not settled. Connie. This relationship is suffocating me. <laughs> What'd I say? I'm not enough for you. I didn't no. say that. Just be honest. Okay, but I'm gonna follow you and make sure you get home safe. Do whatever you want. If you walk to Dairy Queen, I'll buy you a blizzard. Want me to turn on some music? <laughs> How long do I have to sit here and sulk before someone asks me what's wrong? Because no one cares. People are tired of hearing about it. Literally. Would you care to chime in? Oh, I, I don't want to get in the middle of a family issue, but I will say that I once had a falling out with someone very close to me. Perhaps I do owe Dr. Sturgis an apology. I was talking about your mother. I'll circle back to her. So, who was the person you had the fight with? It was my cat, Poe. She ran away when I switched to dry food. What the hell? You're making me tear up because of my life. And you're talking about a cat. But just because you straighten things out with Dr. Sturgis doesn't mean you're going back to college. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I hope you know you're jeopardizing our relationship. I what the hell? Risk. <laughs> Good night. We'll see. I'm pretty tough. Oh, no. I eventually wore her down. Yeah. There's just so much of me anybody can take. I'm aware of that. When football coach oh, my George God. Saved himself at the expense of beloved school librarian, Cheryl Hutchins. Oh, no. We oh, no. The following footage is hard to watch. Oh, no. Well, don't show it. <laughs> oh, my God. Again, in slow motion. Not the it's face. Not <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream, Mom, can I? Sure. Ice cream! Don't you need money? I need money! <laughs> Sounds like my Thank siblings. You. Don't run! Okay! The ice cream man had extra napkins. I had tons of homework. And I was about to enjoy an orange sherbet push-up, uh -oh. which was the only kind of push-up I could actually finish. Then it all came crashing down. Uh oh. Oh. There's no telling who could buy that house. That house is six feet away from my bedroom window. Who knows what kind of smells could jump the gap? Uh, cigarette smoke? A scented candle? A durian? What's a durian? Yeah. A wild smelling fruit of the genus Durio. When did you smell that? I haven't. And I'd like to keep it that way. I already live with a kid my age, not a fan. <laughs> What's up? Can I talk to you about serious woman stuff? Oh, God. Of course. Is this a iced tea conversation or a hot tea conversation? Definitely hot. Okay. Uh-oh. So yeah, what's this... going on? He's 11 and a half. He has blonde hair. His favorite color is green. And he's learning how to skateboard. But he's not very good yet. Okay, well, I have to ask. Now, at your age, having a boyfriend, what does that mean? Do you... Uh... Go out on dates? No. Um. Yeah, I don't think that's quite hands? it yet. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize you had documentation. I know. Hey, she's got receipts. Respect. Well, they open up the house so people interested in buying it can take a look. That explains why 911 hung up on me. <laughs> Oh God, Sheldon, leave I it have alone. No choice but to determine if any of these prospective home buyers would be suitable neighbors. Oh, this lady seems promising. Oh, she's pregnant. Yep, that's gonna be a problem for him. Not on my watch. Oh boy. Excuse me, is there someone in charge here? That would be me. Oh, Mr. Lundy, what are you doing here? Don't you worry. 
I will personally make sure that your new neighbor is whoever forks over the most money. Thank you. Oh. Wait. Okay. So, <laughs> if you want to be his girlfriend, typical realtor, he wants got to be it? Your boyfriend. What's the problem? So if I strike him out, he might get mad and break up with me. <laughs> Why would he do that? I've sure got a bunch of boys. They Have all you get met romantic. boys? Their masculinity. You pitch bad to him on purpose. I was thinking about it. That is not what you are going to do. You are going to do your best. You're going to play you a fair game. And if you strike him out, he will respect you for it. Mr. Lundy, come in. <sighs> what brings you here? I'm the listing agent on the house next door. But I thought you were a teacher and, yeah, and literally. an actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to get your son out of my open house. Why? What's he doing? That is my I detect a hint of garlic. Yeah. Do you enjoy cooking stinky foods, or are you afraid of vampires? That one's a fair question, a actually. <laughs> wow. How do you? Oh, how dare you go to that beautiful woman and Thank say you. that? A seller or seller's agent must disclose if a homicide has occurred on the property. Why is that helpful? That could scare off any unwanted buyers. Has there ever been a murder next door? I sure hope so. Why would you hope that? Hello, Officer Robin. This is Shelton Cooper. It'll take me a while to check. That's fine. I can hold. Tell Mr. Givens I may be a little late to class. It's what a police the matter. Boy. Sheldon's going to be late. Well, all right. It's a police matter. Don't care. <laughs> yes, I'm still here. So, you playing the Tigers on Saturday? Should be an easy win. Their best player's parents are getting a divorce. He's pretty distracted. Well, there's a lucky break. I just hope it drags on to playoffs. She's worried that if she strikes him out, that it'll embarrass him. Well, it's too bad. She's our pitcher. She's going to do her job. Well, she's also an 11-year-old girl with big feelings. And I'm a cranky old man with no feelings. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're doing. What am I doing? You're using your feminine wiles to get your way. <laughs> Smart and handsome. Oh, she's doing the, the in-the-shirt thing. Oh, no. Say, da. What the hell are you talking about? Well done. No, it was Very not. moving. <laughs> Lies. And speaking <laughs> of moving, if any of your parents are in the market for a two-bedroom, two-bath, ranch style, with an updated kitchen, have them give me a call. <laughs> Mr. Lundy. Oh, what now? What oh, happened boy. with the open house after you had me kicked out? Were there any potential buyers? And if so, can I have their names so I can run a background check with my friends in blue? Sheldon, if you think you're going to stop me from selling this house, you're wrong. You do not want me as an enemy. Or as a friend, sibling, or student, I've been told. All right, look, oh, wow. if it's so important to you, why don't you just go out and find a buyer that you'd be happy with? So if I find someone I deem acceptable, you'd sell them the house? I wonder if Stephen Hawking would like Texas. It's very flat. What the hell? No, we're not moving oh, Stephen I Hawking can't here. I a house, but I'm flattered you'd want me next door. Of course I would. You don't have enough friends to throw a party. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did she have a house yeah, in the last well, episode? Why would I want to live next door to you? Ask Mr. Givens. Apparently I'm hilarious. That's sweet of you for asking, but I'd rather stick my finger in a pencil sharpener and crank away. Okay, that's not what I expected you to say. There's a district rule that says a principal can't live next door to a student. Is that, that really sense. a thing? <laughs> I don't think so. Good. That'd be wild, though, if I ever lived next hey, to my principal Robinson from school. That would, that'd be wild. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Is it nice? Uh, nice enough. Well, I'm sure there are lots of wonderful houses out there. I'd be happy to help you look. Barry doesn't want that house. Do you not doesn't want, want him to go there. To oh, no, of course not. You should absolutely look at it, as well as other houses. Why doesn't I'm Mary want him to move the there? Reaction I was expecting. I mean, I I gotta say I would have expected Mary to be happy that a pastor is moving into the house next to her. I would have thought she'd be happy about that. Sorry, when I move out, it ain't gonna be twenty feet away, and it's gotta have a hot tub. Sheldon, you need to stop involving yourself in this. You upset Mr. Lundy, and you were rude to the people at the open house. And he was what's his what's new? To school all day. But Mr. Lundy said I could help him. I don't care. Here's the payroll checks. Thank you. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Oh God, is her next door? It's her pit so close. Oh God. Lord, I am trying my best. Oh Please boy. help me with this situation. And watch her pay be less for some reason. I don't know why, but I feel like it will be. 
I meant fix him, not me. <laughs> My mother has forbidden me from helping you sell the house. That is beyond <laughs> bad news. I don't think I can do this alone. I'm sorry, it's not me. No, I know it's not. I guess I'll see you in the halls. Again, I'm sorry. Why is he an acting teacher? I'm sorry, <laughs> but if it wasn't Sheldon, I think anybody else would see through it. <laughs> like, there's no way. Hey, uh, Cooper, you know, I think I'm gonna have you sit this one out and let Powell pitch. Really? Yeah. Kinda like to save your arm for the playoffs, okay? Okay. Do you wanna save my arm too? No. No. I like you and Robin very much, and if you wanna look into that house, we would be lucky to have you as neighbors. Thank you. That's nice to hear. I mean it. Good, because Robin already looked at it, loved it, put up police tape so no one else could get in. <laughs> oh, really? I love how the, I love, I love how the sweet music oh, like stopped the minute he said that. <laughs> oh, we're going to be fine. Powell's got this. I'll strike Marcus out. Put me in. Okay. Time. Time. Mima told you. She's my girlfriend. You know, we talk about stuff. So yeah. all that about saving my arm for playoffs wasn't true. Since when are you nice? <laughs> don't get used to Good it. point. <laughs> Just go strike out your boyfriend. Hey, you never, you never know. He might actually on, respect Cooper. her for it. Who knows? Good job. I thought we were saving her arm. Not Will now, you shut Billy? up, Billy? Okay. <laughs> Let her cook. Shut up. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, it was a foul. Okay, good. Ooh. Girl. Girl. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> oh, that's going to end badly. Good game. Good game. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Missy. Oh, to Meemaw's house, to tell her. He held my hand. High five! Don't touch it! <laughs> that was great. <laughs> What's going on? It looks like Pastor Jeff and Robin are going to move in next door. And that's not the only news. We are expecting. Oh! oh beautiful hey, Sheldon, maybe someday you can babysit for us. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, bye, baby. Where are you going? To apply for college. You what can ask Missy. He'll come around. No, I won't. <laughs> you can ask Missy. All right, so that was part seven of season three for young Sheldon, and I gotta say, those were some pretty good episodes. I won't lie. I think the last one was more my favorite one just because there's more stuff happening with other characters, like Pastor Jeff and everything. The librarian one was funny, but it wasn't... I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm past the comedy portion of the show in a way mentally because I like um I like the more dramatic dynamic that this show has compared to Big Bang Theory um just because it focuses more on more relatable things that you can really, you know, I don't want to sound redundant but relate to. <laughs> um but I think it's it's very it's very important to see, you know, Missy's perspective on things and George and everybody else except for Sheldon. Like I love how the title character is becoming less and less important. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like they could make a show like called The Coopers. And it would just jive well without him. It's really weird. Like, don't get me wrong, I like Sheldon. I love Sheldon in this show. I think it's very they did very great casting with him. But that's what I like about the show is the fact that you don't need the title character in order to succeed with it. I think it could go places without him. But hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. If you'd like to watch my full-length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and check the link down in the description, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.